Hello everyone, uh, just looking at properties and materials today as you can see in the video title and there's about nine different types we're going to look at and there's a couple of ways to remember those perhaps which you're seeing on the screens now if you need to go back to and remember these but first of all we're going to look at ductility as you can see I've got a piece of wire which is eight centimeters long in length and I'm going to try and stretch and this is the ability uh, of a material to stretch and deform without breaking along its length so I think I can stretch this material by pulling really, really hard on it. And it's that ductility length which is going to be increased. So you can see I've gone from 8 centimetres to 10 centimetres, or 80 millimetres to 100 millimetres by stretching really hard. And I may go even a little bit further here, yet, yeah, just almost, oh, just over that, that 10 centimetres. So ductility is the first type of um, property. And you can see I'm now using garden rope and I can stretch it without breaking again. That's ductility. I'm going to test toughness. We've got a bit of terracotta pot, a bit of wood, and also a bit of plastic. Now, toughness is ability to withstand cracking when hit by an external blow. Let's try, we've got four different hammers, let's go with this one today. So okay, let's go for this one. Will it crack or shatter? Yes. Will this one crack or shatter? No. Will this one? Toughness. Okay, electrical con conductivity. We have a battery pack, we have an output of a buzzer on LED. Now, if I was to attach some of these different objects and items they might have different electrical conductivities. The first one is a small piece of aluminium and if I then touch you can see it has conductivity which allows the buzzer to work and likewise, hopefully, you can see it should allow the LED to work. Okay, let's change this piece of metal, which is aluminium, to a piece of copper wire. Let's see what happens. Just attach that to that. Does the buzzer work? Let's try to move around. Yes, it does. Okay, let's try the last one now. Let's try the piece. So this is a piece of streamer wire, which is probably polypropylene. Plastic. Is it going to have electrical conductivity? No. So electrical conductivity. Some objects and items have better electrical conductivity than others. Next we're looking at hardness and hardness is the ability of a material to resist scratching, wear and tear and indentation. I'm testing for indentations. My first piece of material was a piece of aluminium sheet and the next one is a chrome plated spade. Which one is harder? you can see which one's dented the most and least I would guess. Elasticity here is the easy one I think for you. It is the ability of a material to absorb force and flex in different directions but importantly returning to its original position you can see me stretching this spring. Interest for malleability. This is the ability of a material to change its shape without cracking and be a permanent change in shape by external blow. So I've got two tubes or bits of material, the same sort of thickness. I've got a mild steel with a um, bit of metal and I've also got a piece of wood. So let's see if we can bend and reshape this and see how malleable this one is. As you can see that one's cracked, so that isn't very malleable that one. Let's try this steel one, see if I can change the shape of this without it cracking. And all 
although the paint's cracked, the actual metal hasn't. And that, as you can see, is more malleable than that. Next we have plasticity, and plasticity is very simple, it's like plasticine isn't it? Um, it comes and states that it's the ability of material to change the shape permanently. So I'm using blue tack, I'm trying to warm it up because it's really cold at the minute and trying to see if I can shape, change that shape. We also know that the property it also has is ductility, it's ductile isn't it? So we can change that material shape. If I was using metals I could change it shape, shape more permanently. Next we're looking at strength. Uh, this is where I've got two bits of timber to test this out. So it's the ability of material to stand up to forces being applied to it without breaking, bending, shattering or deforming any way. And you can see this first one, I can stand on it between two chairs, no problem at all. It's a fairly strong piece of material. Yep, I need to sit on it. The next one, I have a thinner bit of uh, old fencing panel, much thinner. It's going to probably bend quite a bit. Yeah, here it is, it's bending. Do I dare lift my feet up? I can bounce on it. One foot. Not feeling confident. Two. Yeah, okay. So it's not as strong as the first bit. Very quick test now on a point test. If I put my mass on it in one point in the centre, will it hold? Do I let my hands go? Yeah, just about done it. There you go. And lastly we've got tensile strength and that's the ability of a material to stretch without breaking or snapping so it's just trying to stretch your material out as far as I can a bit like you saw with that wire in the early one for ductility very similar has it got tensile strength don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos we've got a few more coming up hopefully uh, and speak to you and see you later thanks all bye